What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Liberty Power Armor. So this is a brand new power armor added to Fallout 4. Obviously, it is meant to be created after the Liberty Prime project, or really before the Liberty Prime project. It is more or less just a like first rendition of that armor, which was later used on Liberty Prime. In order to get the armor, it's actually kind of not difficult, but there's a few steps involved. So that is what the video in the background of this actually is going to be. First and foremost, you're going to need a quest, and uh, that quest is the Liberty Reprimed quest. You're going to get this as one of the Brotherhood of Steel main quests. Basically, there's going to be a door, and the power armor is behind behind that door, but you can't open the door unless you get the quest. It's not like you do anything, it's just once you receive the quest, the door will be open. Otherwise, all you have to do is go to Sentinel site and then walk down into the Sentinel site, clear it, and get the power armor. It's a little confusing, so that is what the background of this video is going to be. I recommend just muting this and just watching what I do on like a slower speed. You could use the YouTube control speeds, but I figure I'm not going to do a whole walkthrough because it'll be like a 5-10 to 10 minute video, and uh, this is just a lot simpler for those who don't want to get a walkthrough on how to get it. So with that, let's get right into the power armor. So now up close, we do have a better look at the armor. And real quick, I just want to show you guys, look, that's the headlamp. Isn't that so cool? But yeah, so the armor up close is actually really complex. There's a lot going on with this armor. It's not like simpler like the T60 or the T45 or anything like that. As you can see, if you look at the front of the armor itself, we have tons of stuff going on all over the chest, the center of the armor, and even the wrist there. It, it does look really freaking nice. And the texture and the model both do like complement this. It pulls it off. Like I can see how this could be screwed up relatively easily even though it is only just a silver but still looks really nice and we do have those like little pipe systems running through giving it that mechanical look and this is again supposed to be a primitive version of the power armor it's supposed to be before the great war started well even though a lot of the power armors are like that but one of the first versions so definitely a interesting take on that i do really like how the armor did come out though so now from behind, you do get a better look on those little spikes on his head, as well as like the Tesla coil looking things on the, his upper back. Again, it's more of the same, not as much going on on the back. It's a little bit simpler, but it is still a very nice looking piece of power armor. We do have the back. It kind of is like the frame almost, which is interesting. It looks like the center back there is like it's literally just the power armor frame. It has a big rivet out and then goes back to the normal. And then under that, we do have more of the same little rivets and all the crazy designs designs going on on the legs and like kind of butt area of the power armor where that is the poop exit right there as you can see with those little the little circle in the middle of your screen but again it does look really nice nothing too much to say about it on the back though a little bit more simple but again finally for the fourth time a really nice piece look piece of power armor so now at the workbench well if you're wondering why there's many nukes everywhere instead of player .add item, i typed place at me so yeah but nonetheless, uh, we do have the actual modification of the armor. One little glitch I did notice, which is kind of funny, is uh, as you can see, it's model F. So it uses like the A, B, C, D, E, F. Uh, I don't know, whatever this is for the damage. Uh, but actually out here, it uses one through uh, the Roman numeral version so just kind of a little glitch but otherwise there's nothing going on with this armor at all in this category everything is absolutely default you do have different material mods but they don't actually change anything it, it just is for the bonuses you could get from them other than that there is just you know your normal vanilla mods so you have rad scrubbers recon sensors etc etc on all the different pieces nothing too crazy there is only one headlamp color and uh, yeah that's pretty much it there is a jetpack on this but it is just the vanilla jetpack like mounted onto the back it, it looks okay but i know the mod author has said in his post that he's planning to add some cool mods for the armor uh, a jetpack like a custom made jetpack and more headlamp colors and i really like that freaking headlamp i think that looks so good but yeah that's pretty much everything about the armor not too much going on it does look nice but it is relatively simple as far as modifications go so let's go check it out in action guess what weapon we're going to be using i wonder I, I really really wonder just look how cool that looks that's so awesome, it, it, especially when it's lit up, like, whoops, but it just looks so freaking nice. I can't wait to have more colors, and it actually does work, as you can see. It's not that dark out, so you can't really tell, but, yeah, so Liberty Prime being, you know, the destroyer that he is, I did have to spawn in some serious opposition for him, so we have a bunch of legendary super mutant overlords, legendary ruthless trappers, some mutant dogs, I think that's a settler over there, actually, and uh, we do have back there some gorillas. 
So getting a diverse bunch out here. Let's see if we can't take them all on. My two weapons, I have a Gatling laser as well as a mini or a fat man right there. Which, uh, with a lot of mini nukes, I managed to pick up 100 out of the 1,200 I spawned down. So there's 1,200 on the floor in there. So yeah, I'm going to try and get some cool VAT shots because that's where the armor really shines. I am in god mode right now, uh, so I have unlimited AP so I can get some of the cool shots for the video. But uh, yeah, nothing nothing too crazy here. And uh, as you can see, it does look really nice. I, I really do like how this armor came out. I'm really excited to see what kind of different modifications the mod author does add. Like, uh, especially including... Can I critical hit? No, I can't. I don't have a, enough AP yet or enough uh, of that bar filled up yet. But I'm really excited to see what kind of like material mods he adds or different paint jobs. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at the headlamp and the headlamp colors will be really cool, too. Like a red headlamp on him. If you're going for like that evil enclave look mod author, if you're watching this video, please add an uh, enclave texture for this guy. I will literally love you forever. That would be one of the coolest possible things you could do. All right, that's enough of that. Let's go get into the fat man now, because the fat man actually has some really freaking cool uh, vats stuff. So, oh wait, I'm firing three fat mans now, aren't I? Yeah, whoops. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't fire three. I don't know. Those are some strong super mutants, though, so it might not even kill them, but... Uh, yeah, as you can see, the Fat Man does have a pretty cool Vats-like little animation type thing. So let's get out of that, as uh, I don't want to completely decimate everyone. Actually, oh no, look, they're, they're pretty much all alive. So we continue laying down hell. The gorillas, I, I think all the mutant hounds, or no, I'm sorry, mutant wolves. Did I say mutant hounds before? I think those, uh, well, no, I know those are mutant wolves, but... I think they all did die, so we're just going to lay down some more hell with this thing. A lot of these guys, it does seem like they're mutated, but look at even, this is a fully upgraded Gatling laser, so he's taking a beating, and uh, yeah, that headlamp l really looks good. It, it is getting gradually darker outside, so it's going to become more and more practical. Let's try and even out the battle, though, and oh my god, I forgot I'm in god mode, so I could just continuously fire. Oh no, a mutant hound did live, or a mutant wolf did live. Sorry, mutant wolf, you are not going to escape this, uh... What is that? What is with that sound? Oh, who, who the hell are you? I guess that's uh, the settler. <laughs> so the settler made it, which is kind of surprising. But uh, yeah, so we can continue just blow down these guys. And as you can see, uh, well, I'm not really blowing them down. I'm, they're, they're tanking a lot. Oh, so there are a few more mutant wolves. That's interesting. I really didn't think those would be the, the people to be winning. It does actually look like it's a pretty close battle between the super mutants and the trappers right now. I'm kind of curious who's going to win. I haven't made a battle video in a while, but that should be coming soon. So uh, look forward to that if you enjoyed that series. I'm going to try and finish everyone off here. Um, obviously for the Gatling Laser and the uh, Batman, I did use them because that's what Liberty Prime uses. Obviously it doesn't have a Gatling Laser, but that would be cool. Would that not be? Um, I, I think the, the <laughs> if you really want to fully experience this armor, you should use it with the mini Liberty Prime companion. That would be pretty funny. If I do say so myself, I would get a, quite a kick out of that. So let's finish about everyone off. And it uh, looks like I'm getting shot over there. So let's lay down hell with a few more mini nukes. As you can see, we're actually getting like the full practical, um, whatchamacallit, the headlamp is actually getting used now properly. So let's just lay down hell with, oh, that's a settler. That's a mutant hound. Oh, oh I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just gonna, we'll click everyone once with the mini nukes and just go to town. So, is there a way to speed this up? There is, isn't it? If you, like, if you click, that's a cool, that was the shot we had in the intro of this video, and that is a freaking cool shot. I'm getting shot again, though. Yeah, this thing's just a little bit too slow. Oh, I did use a crit. Can, can you crit with a mini nuke? I didn't even know you could do that. That's interesting. So, someone is shooting me with, like, a shotgun there. So, this is the critical hit one. So, oh, it looks exactly the same. That's not so exciting. So, let's just shoot a few more off into the distance. Let Liberty, er, everyone know that Liberty Prime is back and ready to go. Wait, are there people still alive? A mutant wolf lived? <laughs> I can't believe he lived. That's actually really... How did this guy live through all that? Like, they, they don't have that high of HP. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, the, the we have the armor here. There's going to be a link in the description down below to where you could download it. So I definitely recommend checking it out because it is a really well-made armor. And, uh, yeah. And power armor mods are cool. So, as always, I thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you all next time. Later.